Hey, good morning, everybody. How you guys doing? It's 2 51 a.m. my time. I'm kind of weird right now, but I wanted to bring you guys this video on how I was able to unlock the bootloader and root the Motorola E 2015 second generation on Boost Mobile. So this would be the 4G version or CDMA version here in the U.S. This does not apply for the 3G version found overseas or in um, in India or anywhere else. Um, so anyways, a uh, link to the website will be in the description of this video. Um, follow the instructions to a T and um, also download um, all the tools that you will need and install them correctly. So you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on this website but here in this video you're just gonna get like an idea of all the stuff that I did to get the Moto E rooted and the bootloader unlocked and twerp recovery installed. Um, so anyways I'm going to show you guys here my phone here in a second. Uh, I'll show you guys how to boot into the bootloader, which is simply just um, holding the, uh, the power button and the volume down is really all you got to do to actually access it. So I'm going to power off my device here just to show you guys how to boot into it. We'll wait till it turns off and then uh, right here just hold the volume down power button at the same time hold it for three seconds and it will boot into the bootloader and here we are this is the bootloader right here once you have that you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect your USB cable to your device so we'll get that started and um, with everything set in place basically the uh, you're gonna open up the folder for the um, the M fastboot which uh, you should have extracted to your desktop you're gonna hold down the shift button and click the right clicker on your mouse or your laptop and it's gonna open a command prompt window so this is your, com your, your command prompt window and this is where you're going to be basically typing in commands and um, so we're gonna start by getting the uh, the info we need to get the unlock key for the bootloader so you'll type in fastboot OEM get underscore unlock underscore data and click enter now when you do this you're gonna see a bunch of lines open up and it's going to have a bunch of number letter codes uh, about four lines that's a bootloader code um, I'll go ahead and open up to the web page so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Let me scroll down. So that's the bootloader image. Um, keep going. There's a command window. There is the code again so you guys uh, don't lose track of it. Write it down so you guys have this uh, available so you don't have to like search around for it. And right there, and the, as you see in, in this little picture right here, there is the four line code you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna have to copy that. Copy all the lines, including the, the last line that has a bunch of zeros, just like so. And open up like a notepad, paste it in there, and at the beginning of each line, you can hit the back button so you can merge all four or five lines together in one line. It's naturally spaced, so you're going to need to actually keep it in one long line code. Then you'll go to the Motorola site to um, unlock. You see right here it says unlock your bootloader. And um, from here, as you go down, you know it's going to give you information of what the code should look like when you use uh, Fastboot to get the OEM un unlocked data. Uh, so it shows you Windows and Mac. So those who are using Mac, you guys can refer to that. And that's what the code should look like. Uh, if you guys see that blue, the blue line, it should look like that when you have it on your notepad. And what you're going to do is you're going to paste it into this bar right here and you're going to click, uh, can my device be unlocked? So down here, you're going to accept the agreement and another button should pop up, which um, is basically accepting. And the e you, you would get an email. To actually get into the site, it's going to require you to log in with your Google account, by the way. 
So once um, you do all that and you get the email with the unlock code, you're going to go back to your command prompt. You're going to type fastboot space OEM space unlock space and then you're going to paste that code where I'm typing your key. You're going to type in that code you got in your email right there and you will hit enter. Once you do that, your bootloader will then be unlocked. So from this point, um, if you want, you can power back on your device so you could um, load in the super user's uh, zip that you downloaded to your SD card. Um, up there in the window where I just pointed, you want to make sure you put the recovery image there. So in the command prompt, when you go back into your bootloader, you're going to type in fastboot flash recovery recovery.image. So again, that's fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img. Once you do that, it's going to flash recovery into your device. So you go back to your device while it's in bootloader mode and you would use the volume button to scroll to recovery mode and press the power button to launch your device into twerp recovery. Now from twerp recovery, this is the reason why you need a super user zip on your SD card because from here is where you would flash the super su zip file to give your phone root and from that point once you flash it just um, reboot the system and you'll have root so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it across your social networks um, if you are not subscribed do so click that subscribe button wherever it is on the platform thank you for watching and uh, good night